So on-farm on farm, uh, feed formulations are critical uh, when it comes to livestock. Uh, first and foremost, even if it wasn't a drought year, um, if you are importing food into a farm, it's very expensive. So uh, we've been encouraging our farmers to, to formulate their own feed on-farm. Now it's become even more imminent that uh, it's of critical importance that our farmers ensure that their cattle have sufficient feed. And this comes from on-farm feed formulations, uh, fodder production. Uh, we have urea treatment, for example. This has been very successful. We've trained the trainers. They're now going to train the farmers, and we are implementing this. And this is part of us uh, ensuring that there's enough silage for, for our farmers. Um, and as mentioned before, uh, in a few weeks' time, we'll start harvesting wheat and we are mobilizing as many hay balers as possible so that we can harvest uh, uh, all this, the wheat straw so that we can also feed this into um, uh, this kind of program that ensures that our farmers do have this kind of relief uh, feed. Um, but it's, it's very important that all livestock farmers in Zimbabwe that they look and understand that it has the answer really uh, falls in their hands and we will support them as much as possible. But each and every person keeping livestock must keep a certain portion to be able to grow food for the livestock to ensure uh, the continuity of nutrition. Uh, you know, basically, uh, animal husbandry is very, very important to ensure that the, the cattle or whatever it is, the, the livestock, the beast itself, is happy. Um, you know, if, if a cow is happy, it will produce, it will yield well. Uh, we know that even in the dairy sector, that the higher yielded uh, cattle are cattle that are happy. So this is this is very important and fundamental. Uh, the small stock uh, does very well in these kind of harsh conditions that we are currently experiencing. So we are also encouraging our farmers to look into small stock uh, rather than just you know the traditional cattle and so on and so forth. Um, you know, goats, for example, do fundamentally well. Uh, in these kinds of t conditions. So we, we're, we're trying to tell our farmers, you know, diversify a little bit. But bottom line is whatever animal you're keeping, that has that animal has to be fed. So on-farm feed formulations as well as uh, fodder production through the ure urea treatment and so on and so forth. This is very critical for, for a successful uh, season.